Hello there, and welcome to another Magnificent Monday here on MouthMop.com. I am your host, Scott Fry, and you know we have a really great show for you today. Broadcasting from the Health Sciences Library here in the UC Medical Center in Denver, Colorado. And last week, we talked a little bit about the enamel pellicle. And this week, we're going to dive into one of the ways we discussed to preserve the enamel pellicle, which is low abrasive toothpastes. Now, toothpaste abrasiveness is measured using uh, what's called a radioactive dentin abrasive index. And what they'll do is they'll lightly irradiate a tooth, scrub it real good with toothpaste, and then see how much radioactivity actually comes off the tooth. Now, I've posted below a table including uh, the RDA values for lots of different abrasives and many toothpaste on the market. And you're going to notice in that table that essentially all the tartar control and whitening toothpastes are going to have a high abrasive index. Now, that's needed for those types of toothpaste because in order to be an effective tartar control agent or whitening agent, you need to remove the enamel pellicle. And while this is good from time to time, you know, obviously you need a little bit of whitening from time to time your teeth will get stained. This isn't really actually good though for daily use. And what's good for daily use is the low abrasive toothpaste and anything below 70 to 80 on that RDA index is what is considered a low abrasive toothpaste. And you're going to notice that the sensitive toothpastes are down in that area too. And if you stick to those uh, low abrasive toothpastes, you're going to find that uh, you're gonna, it's going to help avoid toothbrush abrasion and it's also going to uh, increase the acid resistance of your teeth because it's going to leave the enamel pellicle uh, mostly intact. Now, Obviously, not every single toothpaste in the market is included in that table below, and there's a great way, you know, obviously you can go ahead and look in the box, see if it says tartar control or whitening, and that's going to give you a good, good indication of whether or not it's a highly abrasive toothpaste, but you may be wondering if your toothbrace is moderately abrasive or if it's actually a low abrasive toothpaste. And a great way to do that is actually just pop open your toothpaste bottle at home and get a little bit between your fingers and just kind of rub it around. Obviously, don't do this in the store. You know, you don't want to be walking around the store popping things open, rubbing things between your fingers. But we have here the Crest Pro Health, and this is a tartar control and whitening toothpaste. And I can really, really feel the grip. And that's where you're going to get a sense of rubbing it in between your fingers. You can feel these really big pieces of silica in there. And even if you want, if you want to get like a better sense of how it's going to feel on your teeth, you can take a little bit you can get it in there and just kind of like chew on it and get it in between your teeth. And if you had like a mic next to my mouth right now, you could hear this crunching. And it's not very comfortable actually either. And uh, yeah, so that's gross. Um, we also have here the Crest Pronamel Sensodyne. And just as a comparison, you know, I'm going to rub this and this I can barely feel at all. There's really nothing to this. And this is what you want in your toothpaste. Um, this is actually a toothpaste I use at home, and I also like to use Colgate Total. They're both great toothpaste, both low abrasive. Um, yeah, so that's a pretty simple way that you can go ahead and evaluate uh, whether or not your toothpaste at home is abrasive or not. Just rub it in between your fingers. And if it feels, you know, just like this, with really not too much to it, no grit, nothing like that. You're probably in pretty good shape and it's probably a good toothpaste to use. Obviously make sure it has fluoride too. But hey, that's our show today. Now leave us a comment down below. Let us know about your favorite toothpaste and what you use at home. Take care everybody.